Okay, I've just been informed by YouTube that I can do longer videos. Yay. <laughs> so I don't have to do so many parts to this. I know it's like a thousand parts. Why didn't they tell me that before him? Anyway, this one, okay, it's still like a fan account, but I want to kind of go more on the basis of like foreign fans. Um, At the rain concert on the 24th, there were barely any foreign fans there. Like me and Shia, Heather, I saw maybe a Middle Eastern girl, a few European white girls, but that was it. That was it. This concert, I saw black women, black men, white women, white men, women from people, men and women from England, uh, Muslim women, Middle Eastern men and women. His fan base is so freaking diverse. Like, seriously. Oh, and I have to say, okay, I got interviewed four times this time. <laughs> They're like, can we get an interview? I'm like, yeah. Like, one thing I found out, they like when foreigners, like, go crazy. So, like, I was calm or whatever, but I took out my stick, and I was like, they see me with my stick. And they did. Like, this little boy came over, because I was like, do, 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 do. And I was like, hey, whatever interviews. And I got interviewed by, like, the press and stuff, so it was pretty awesome. And they always told me to sing. And I'm sorry, every time that I sing, I always do love stories. <laughs> Because that's the one song of her I know every single word to in Korean. And I can say it right. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes I can say it right. But, like, I could do Love Story. But I'd be like, I'd be like, I'm sorry. But, like, I don't want to accidentally say, like, a Korean cuss word. And they'd be like, oh, this trick is crazy so i always go in love story because i like studied that song i did it for like a contest so i like studied it so i know it but they asked me what my favorite song was and i said love story and slowly if y'all never heard slowly you gotta check it out and it's such a japanese album because like just like uh junsu from jyj did intoxication um because you can't do that in korea <laughs> you have to go to japan to do it this hot 14 minutes on a flight speaking of uh, intoxication eat your kimchi hi guys i got to meet both of them this weekend um uh and she has friends set up to meet them and i told him she was like hey i'm going to rain uh show concert this weekend what are you doing she was like oh something you probably might be interested in we're gonna meet um sorry Mardita from uh eat your kimchi and i'm like Oh my gosh, like, yes, I watch them all the time. They're hilarious. So we met them at the Cafe Lua, and they are, they're probably one of the most sweet and kind-hearted people I've met in a long time. They were so funny. They had their dog with them. They were so freaking funny. And I asked them about, like, how they made the transition from being a like, teacher to being able to stay there and like just do their blog and get paid and do their videos and stuff they give me so much like good advice and uh so i mean he uh wrote on my um my post on my uh peak fashion ninja i told him he was like okay i'll check it out so um he actually left the comments that's amazing he saw it and i think that that's really awesome he is so tall he's like six two. <laughs> oh, and she's so pretty like they they make a uh, perfect couple they're so cute and they're just so funny and kind-hearted and they just like told me different things to do and like the videos and just they just so inspirational to see Americans out here like really making it and doing it. Do you know they have Kevin from You Kiss's number? Like apparently like they were about to get like flash mobbed and like he called and was like, Hey, I'm right in front of your window. Like I don't know which member is Kevin from You Kiss, sorry. All I know is never let never let <laughs> Okay, what time is that? I gotta go work some. But anyway, I just think that's so awesome. So it was so cool meeting them. I really like it. So anyway, right. Um, foreigners. They were up to like, I bet you, in the hundreds, like hundreds, hundreds, hundreds of uh, foreign bands. They were just, they came out in droves. I was so happy, guys. Yay, we represent it. But what I don't get, okay, Rain's trying to make it to the U.S. He, okay, not that he has to by any means. Oh, he, he don't, you know, he, he don't have to do anything. But be like, hey, you know, like, I see a lot of foreign fans out there. Or I want to thank people that 
possibly flew 7,000 miles. <laughs> well, I mean, I teach out here, but I mean, I did take a three hour bus ride. And I mean, it was still a 14 hour flight to Korea. <laughs> um, and like all the people who came, foreigners who came, it was so many like Americans and just so many people. It was just inspiring to see so many. Oh, and Spanish and Mexican because, um, Jessica hung out. Um, she's a Spanish descent, so like it was every race there, and it was just so awesome. And we just that's that's when it's good to be when you're in Korea, go to a concert if you want to sing like on TV, you're like an aspiring singer. Ooh, yeah, <laughs> you want to sing, go to a concert in Korea. They love foreigners, the press does now. People will stare at you like crazy, you have to get used to that, but you get to be on TV, like, and they'll be like, sing your favorite song, I'm like, every time they ask me to sing a song, I'm like, I can't remember any rap songs, <laughs> and every song blanked out of my head for Ray, and I'll just go say, you goody, you goody, slowly, neck is cheek, slowly, I was like, well, that might be a naughty song to sing. I can't see that one. But it's a Japanese, so I mean they wouldn't understand me anyway. But um yeah, so it got a um a lot of press. But if Rank has said, you know, like thank you all for, you know, people that came many, many miles from different countries or you know, maybe give us a shout out because it was a ton of of foreign people there and it was just so awesome but rain like okay in the whole bringing like a fan up like a foreign fan okay i don't know okay what the reaction of the audience would be if he had brought up somebody like american let's say he brought like a white girl up there or something would everybody start like oh, oh day box like you know like she's a foreigner like but she's a person and she loves rain. So why can't she go up there? Well, before I went up there, I'd be like, go girl, go girl. Cause if that was me, uh, trust and believe that. But yeah, it's either cause he doesn't know how, I mean the only foreign, okay, Japanese, but it's still Asian. He's never, I haven't seen if he has, I'm sorry. I didn't see that video. Never brought a non-Asian on stage and I'm like, maybe because okay yeah you know if i get up there i might get i'm not gonna get aggressive but like i said i'd make him turn me around like a princess i'd two-step with them he'd want me to sit in a chair i'd be like no i'm gonna stand up let's two-step <laughs> and you know i might you know if he ain't looking like poop poke over the booty no <laughs> out you know, on the side no <laughs> no i didn't know that's <laughs> he'll be like whoa <laughs> he'll take me then the then security guard will hit me <laughs> Watch out for that scary guard and hit you. Um, yeah, so I, it was just like interaction. I think that's more fun anyway. I, I think he had brought Ajima on stage once uh, on for the best, and she was like real lively and funny. And I think that would lighten up the mood if it were um, a fan, like a foreign fan. And that would have been awesome with this last show. Like, he's like, hey guys, like, mm, I'm gonna pick a foreigner, not Japanese, because. They always come like an actual like either somebody who color <laughs> me <laughs> or like the Middle Eastern woman over there or the Caucasian woman over there or man or a woman <laughs> over there or something like that. So it's either because he thinks that it'd be like maybe backlash against him or the fan, that foreign fan for bringing them up there. Or number two, he thinks that we'll probably get out of control. Which, because I mean, okay, like an Usher concert in America, Sprint Center in Kansas. He brought a chick up there. She got on top of him. Check out my Facebook page. I took a picture of it. She got on top of him. And they asked it like, something was going on up there. And I was, like my mouth just dropped. I was like, are you serious? Like, no, like, no, 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 no. So maybe he saw that concert of, of Usher and was like, ooh, I can't be doing that because, yeah. Anybody, like, touched rain, the fans were like, oh, damn, I can't. No, you didn't. <laughs> I'm like, she let me die. No, but, um, so maybe those are the two reasons. So hopefully, like, when rain comes out and, I mean, when he goes to America, he'll have no choice but to pick foreigners. But it just would have really been really awesome if he could, um, could have brought somebody else up there. So I don't know if you think because if we go, if we if you brought a foreigner that we'd go crazy, or you just 
care about your fans so much that you don't that you won't bring a foreign up there because you know that the uh, Koreans will get really mad and upset. Maybe. I'm gonna go to ladder because you love your foreign fans so much. But I mean, we oh, people drove came from so far to see this man. It's, it's just so awesome, you know. That was such a diverse fan base. It just shows how amazing of a of an artist he is, you know, like Michael Jackson. I have the uh, concert footage in what is Bucharest, Romania. It, okay, I'm sorry if it's not Romania, but I can't remember. I think Bucharest, whatever Bucharest is in, and I thought it was Romania. I'm pretty sure the whole country went there. I mean, it was probably upwards to like 500,000 people there if you saw that. I'm pretty sure none of them spoke English, but they knew, uh, beat it, beat it, beat it. <laughs> like, they do that. Like, that's when, when your fan base becomes that diverse, that's when you know that you've made it. Like, when you've got a Middle Eastern woman over there with a headdress on, and an African woman over there, and, like, like from Africa, and not, like, Black from America, but, like, that, and just, uh, um... A European, like this redheaded woman over here, and like this woman over there, or a black woman, or a tall white man that's funny looking, or something like an old, older white man, but he's a fan of you. Like, that's that's when you know your music isn't just music, that it's emotions and that it touches people. That's when you know that you become something bigger than just a singer or K pop. Like, it's it's way more than that way more than that and the people i've just read um yeah like twenty thousand people i believe it half of them was crazy <laughs> i've never in my life experience i love being out here in asia i have experienced the more things in this month that i've been oh it's, it was a month yesterday i've been here time flies by so fast that i ever have in my life i've never experienced things i got lost on the soul subway you don't want to get lost on the soul subway <laughs> but i finally got there but um anyway oh, i'm at two minutes hey i can post longer dun, 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 dun. oh anyway about the co another thing about the concert it was not sad i thought like he'd be like be emotional and, be like, oh, oh, and only would i get really intense oh, 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 oh. i hate it with like american girls would have called like their favorite Asian star, Opa. Because it's like, you are not Korean. Don't call nobody Opa. But I know a lot of girls do, which that's your forte. I just don't like it. That's something that uh, is, that they hold. I know I say Ajumas, but oh, the old ladies. I don't want to say that. It's but Ajumas, Ajushis, whatever. It's just a little bit more respect. But Opa! Opa! Opa Chansu! Opa Chechun! Opa! Opa! No! <laughs> No, like you're a freaking American. Don't call them that. Call them, ooh, Mickey, you so fine, or Hachel, or whoever from Super Junior that you like. But don't call them Opa. Like, you like, Opa! You'd be like, you are not Korean. Why are you calling me Opa? Uh, so weird. Anyway, I totally forgot what I was just talking about. I got off on the Opa thing. Anyway, it's 13 minutes, so, um, Rain, Jiang Jiang, um, we'll be waiting for you, just, just know that, I need some more light and stuff, <laughs> we'll be waiting for you, like, I, I could, okay, I, I know everybody probably saw this, but, <laughs> or probably say this, but, I think he, act, like, directly saw me again, like, because he was talking to this girl. She was right in front of me. Why did everybody like park like the Red Sea when he was talking to her? And I was like, I was right behind her. And I was like, hi, Ray. I was like, don't think I'm crazy. Don't think I'm crazy, but I just want you to see me. I think my whole thing is I want him to acknowledge me and be like, you know what? That girl right there. I'm like, boop, 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 boop. Can't you feel my heart beats waiting for you? <laughs> I just want him to be like, you know what? I'm so happy you're here. Thank you, Ray. Thank you. <laughs> anyway. Almost 15 minutes. Wow, I can talk a lot. Sorry if I'm talking too fast. Um, Ray, we'll be waiting for you, baby. You'll still be in Korea, so I might see you on the Jeep <laughs> with all the other because it's Sam Child. There's a ton of military uh, places right there, so I'll probably see you in the Jeep. You remind me of my Jeep. You just say something just like my car. <laughs> I'll be like, oh, bye. No, <laughs> well, that name's so funny. All right, bye. <laughs>